Turkey may buy 48 JF-17 Thunders in future. Turkish Air Force currently operates 48 F-4 Phantom II fighter bombers and 250 F-16 fighting Falcons. There is an option to replace these 48 F-4 with newer versions of JF-17 Thunders. However, these F-4 were recently upgraded to the F-4 Terminator 2020 by IAI. This will keep F-4 in service for another 10 years. Turkey may collaborate with Pakistan in near future on the newer versions of JF-17 Thunders possibly Block 4. It's reported that Turkish Aerospace has another project called Tiger Jet which is 4th generation light attack aircraft and trainer. In addition to this Thai has started working on new 5th generation stealth aircraft project named TFX. The JF-17 can deploy diverse ordnance, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and a 23mm GSH-23 twin-barrel autocannon. Powered by a Guzhou WS-13 or Plymouth Road 93 afterburning turbofan, it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The JF-17 is to become the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force PAF complementing the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon at half the cost. The PAF inducted its first JF-17 squadron in February 2010. In 2015 Pakistan produced 16 JF-17. As of 2016, Pakistan is believed to have the capacity to produce 25 JF-17 per year. 58% of the airframe is Pakistani and 42% Chinese-Russian origin. As of December 2016 Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has manufactured 70 jets in the country for use by the Pakistan Air Force of the Block 1 type and 33 jets of the Block 2 type. Pakistan Air Force already inducted twin-seater version known as the JF-17B for both enhanced operational capability and training. Preparations for a more advanced and technologically sophisticated Block 3 version of the aircraft are underway and the AESA radar, AJ-7A, has been developed, which can track 15 targets and engage 4 targets simultaneously. In February 2019 the battle-hardened JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian planes. Pakistan Air Force managed to destroy a MiG-21 Bison in aerial combat, capturing Indian Air Force IAF pilot and Hanand and Hurthaman, who was handed over to India on March 1, 2019. Another Indian frontline, co-called Best Jet the Su-30 MKIs was also shot down by Pakistani JF-17 Block 2. JF-17A Block 3 will be a single-seat variant. It will feature further avionics advancements such as helmet-mounted display and sight hmd test system, a new single-panel multifunctional display MFD, an active electronically scanned array of radar paired with an infrared search and track IRST system, and a cockpit with a flight control stick on the side, an NRIETKLJ7A AESA radar, more use of composites, a new engine, and a two-seater cockpit option, with a top speed of 2.0 plus Mach. Pakistani Air Force officials have described it as a fourth generation plus fighter jet. According to unconfirmed media reports, the induction is expected to start around 2021. The story of JF 17 started in 1990, as when United States embargoed the F 16S deal under the Pressler Amendment, warning Pakistan to buy F 16S. The embargo was a blessing in disguise for Pakistan. This embargo under Pressler Amendment was a turning point for Pakistan as it opened the debate for indigenization in military production. When economy is weak and enemies are on every front this was the best decision by Pakistani military leadership. Pakistan with the help of China started a joint venture of designing indigenous fighter jets. This hard work resulted in a fourth generation JF-17 fighter jet. Now Pakistan is fully capable to build JF-17 in Pak Karma with importing some electronic accessories from China. The gap in the Air Force was filled with procuring JF-17. Turkey is Pakistan's closest friend. In 1990s after US refusal to deal with Pakistan for F-16s, Pakistan approached Turkey to give MLU midlife update to the aging Block 10 15s F-16AB. Under this MLU, Turkey upgraded Pakistan's F-16 to the level of the latest F-16, by equipping them with beyond visual range technology. In 2018 news circulated about a possible joint venture between Pakistan and Turkey to co-produce fifth generation aircraft. Pakistan gained an edge over its potential partner Turkey, having co-produced the JF-17, essentially a Chinese design based on PAF specifications, though there is still need for collaboration in design and production of any new fighter. 
Turkey in comparison, though having license produced F-16S, lacks comparable modern fighter design experience. Turkish and Pakistani close relationship makes fighter co-production logical. Therefore, present cooperation could well take the shape of a Block 4 JF-17 developed by Turkey and Pakistan to be considered for joint design and co-production, after which a stealth fighter would then be a logical next step. It's important to note that Pakistan Air Force never developed the JF-17 as F-16 replacement. It was rather to replace obsolete A-5, F-6 and F-7 as well as some Mirage B, all the legacy third-gen aircraft. The JF-17 design is evolving and will overtake newer versions of F-16 in performance. The JF-17 were originally designed to be cost-effective multi-role fighters. This allowed PAF to induct a common airframe for different missions, easier for logistics and training. With JF-17 B twin seat, the package is complete. JF-17 is not a fifth-gen aircraft to challenge F-35. However, it is ideal replacement for all type of aircraft of third-gen types. It has very impressive weapon package to go with it and able to cater for any type of mission. In 2019 some news channels reported news about JF-17 Block 4 to be co-designed and developed by Pakistan, China and Turkey. According to former Air Force pilot closer defense ties between Pakistan and Turkey, could well take the shape of a Block 4 JF-17 developed by Turkey and Pakistan to be considered for joint design and co-production, after which, a stealth fighter would then be a logical next step. Collaborating in the production of unmanned aerial vehicles these days, both countries could also focus on manufacturing a fifth-generation fighter jet, especially as Pakistan has already co-produced the JF-17 Thunder with China. According to latest news reports, JF-17 latest powered-up version reportedly features technologies from China's high-end J-20 fighter jet. Long-range Chinese Place 15 missiles on JF-17 jet will increase striking range to 300 kilometers in actual aerial engagements which is much greater than US-built AMRAAM and the Russian R-77. JF-17 also hosts an infrared search and track system along with a cross-section radar that lessens the pseudo-stealthy airframe. The newer JF-17 aircraft is installed with many commercial off-the-shelf technologies from the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. New integrated cockpit display, larger holographic wide-angle head-up display and advanced infrared missile approach warning system will immensely boost the combat efficiency of Thunder. Various countries including Algeria, Ukraine, Argentina, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, Iraq, Egypt, Iran, Lebanon, Malaysia, Morocco, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Albania, Sudan, Jordan, Peru, Venezuela, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, South Africa and Uruguay have shown interest in the JF-17 Block 3. Turkish Air Force which is one of the oldest air forces of the world as it goes back to World War I era. The Turkish Air Force is the aerial warfare service branch of the Turkish Armed Forces. The Turkish Air Force can trace its origins back to June 1911 when it was founded by the Ottoman Empire, however, the Air Force as it is known today did not come into existence until 1923 with the creation of the Republic of Turkey. JF-17 will be an excellent addition to Turkish Air Force. Let's see when Turkey replaces F-4 Terminators with JF-17 Thunder Block 4. JF-17 participated in various exhibitions including some hosted in Turkey. JF-17 also participated in the Anatolian Eagle 2019 in Turkey giving Turkish Air Force opportunity to gain first-hand experience with JF-17 Thunders. Here is the list of participants in 41st edition of the exercise. 3 AMXs of the 132nd Group of the 51st Storm of Istrana, 3 F-16 AM BM of the Royal Jordanian Air Force 2nd Squadron of Shaheen Mawafak at Salti AB, 5 JF-17 Thunder of Pakistan Air Force 28th Squadron of Keta International at their first appearance at an A, 6 F-15E of the 494th Fighter Squadron, 48th Fighter Wing, by Raf Lincoln E, C-130 J and C-17 of the Qatari Amiri Air Force 12th Squadron of al udid AB E-3A Sentry of the NATO NAEW and CFE-3A component. If Pakistan succeeds in selling this large number to Turkey, it will be historic and will yield huge profits for the country. In addition, this deal can increase the confidence of other potential buyers. This deal can also be a great shame for India, as its own Tejas fighters have not attracted so much interest worldwide. Thank you for watching.
Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for future videos.